Hello, this is Kate Copenspire again, and I'm here to talk about one of the things I get really excited about. There's a lot of things that I get really excited about, but this is one of the biggest ones, and that's virtual reality and augmented reality. Um, so, pretty much, to give you an example of augmented reality right now, I'm going to use a camera effect. By the way, got me, I'm using my boyfriend's camera. Pretty nice. But augmented reality is basically where you put a computer-generated image over what you're already seeing. So right now you're seeing me. And now, you see me with a pig nose. And it moves with my nose, and it's superimposed over what you're already seeing. And I can do like a, a king's hat and other stuff and a mustache. But <laughs> pretty much that's a decent example of what augmented reality is. But what's getting really cool is that you dub they are... Uh, they are making a contact lens. So right now we can do it with like your iPhone or your webcam. But they're coming up with a, a contact lens where they can light up LEDs in it. And then they can put information up like in the corner of your view. Like for information, uh, I mean, uh, for instance, they have in your eye, you can actually monitor a lot of your body's like blood sugar levels, potassium levels, stuff like that. So they have this little sensor in the contact lens that can detect your blood levels. And if you're diabetic, then it'll tell you if they're getting too low by lighting up a little light in the corner or something like that. That's pretty much where it's going right now. Uh, currently, the best they've got is a couple of lights to light up in a rabbit's eye. But um, So it's not very developed yet, but it's a really cool idea. Eventually, they could give us, like, cyborg vision with extra zoom and stuff like that. And, you know, they can make it so when you play a video game or something, you can get superimposed extra information or the speed limit of your car and stuff like that. And uh, the biggest problems with it right now and why it's moving so slowly is they're having a hard time getting that much hardware into such a small, fragile thing like a contact lens. And um, they're also having a hard time uh, making it safe for your eyes because a lot of the chemicals they use to make LEDs are really unsafe for your eye. So uh, that's probably the biggest challenges right now. And I mean, it's going to take a while for this technology to develop for the actual contact lens, but it's still pretty cool. Um, the other one is they've developed something called a virtue sphere. It's basically this big ball that you get inside, and when you take a step, the ball moves, and you're wearing a headset display, and then what you're seeing on the headset display changes based on where you move in this sphere. So you take a step, and that moves the sphere around which moves you forward in the virtual environment so um, you can walk run crawl jump whatever you want to inside the sphere and it will change the environment around you in your headset display so it's pretty much like they could use it for video games they could use it for virtual travel they could use it for medical training uh, military training police training they can use it for all kinds of stuff and uh, they've got like 16 of them or something worldwide. One of them's in uh, the University of Washington. I really, really want to go play with it. And one of the cool things about it is if you know any 3D, 3D engines, like the Unreal Engine or the Quake Engine, you can actually program games that would work with the Virtue Sphere. Because it's, it's actually pretty basic software and pretty basic hardware, and it all works together and puts you in a 3D environment thanks to the headset. So that's the one I'm probably the most excited about. And then there's a third one. Someone sent me a link last week about this 3D immersion technology. And pretty much you've got a guy with this headset again. And you've got these white walls all around him and projectors. And everywhere he moves in the room, the projectors detect and then they change what the projectors project. So he sees something different everywhere he moves. And so they've got it to the point where they can make it look like you're standing on a ledge. And they can make it so realistic it'll make you feel like you're going to fall off. So, I thought that was really cool. The main reason that I'm really into virtual reality is when I was a kid, I read a short story about this room that a person could go into, and it would take them any place. And in the story, I think they went to the African savanna, and they could feel the grass, they could smell like a lion that came up to them and stuff like that. I've been trying to find the story again, but I can't. But it's a really cool story, and I've pretty much been hooked on the idea of virtual reality ever since then. So, this is kind of some stuff that's emerging. Probably the Virtue Sphere is the best developed um, and best working. The augmented reality one is coming. It's really cool. 
And this 3D immersion one is pretty neat, too. I'm including links to information about all these on the side, but... Yeah, I thought I'd geek out about virtual reality a little bit, and share some cool news with anybody else that cares. I think I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll talk about something else. Bye!